Hello Jam Ladies, I am coming to you with my um, application um, tutorial. I like to give, um, always do my own, because um, there's just a couple little tips that I like to give all my girls. Not big ones, just what helps um, mine stay on longer. So, I've already prepped my nails, um, and so the way I did that was I actually used um, it's always best to push back your cuticles when they're either um, soft, like as if you you just got done washing dishes or doing baths or just soaked them in a, um, warm water for a few, like 30 seconds or so. Um, another easy way is our cuticle remover pen right here. Um, you can buy a cuticle remover anywhere, but we sell it in a nifty little pen that you just click at the bottom. I don't really want it to come out. Ah! And it did, so we're gonna wipe it down. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and generously put this around all the way around your nail, okay? Not just the backs, all the way around. Um, then you're gonna let that sit for just a couple minutes. Um, let it get nice and uh, soften the cuticles. Then you're gonna take either your orange stick, which comes in our application kit, um, and you use this end with this, the you know, the flat surface. You're just going to go ahead and push all the way around the cuticles. Um, you're going to make sure you're pushing on the sides here too. Hopefully you can see that. Like over here on the sides, you got to push there too. Not just the back here. It's There's invisible cuticle around your entire nail. So you got to get that off or else your jams aren't going to last. Um, I like to actually use a metal spoon pusher, which um, has for me helped me with longer wear. Um, I used this for years and it was fine, but I do see that this works a lot faster for me in getting it off and more efficient. So um, we do sell these now. It's in our new um, deluxe kit, um, which is really awesome. Comes with a lot of great stuff in there. And then after that, you're going to go to the um, sink, which I've already done all that too, and you're gonna um, take some dish soap, some Dawn dish soap, nothing with moisturizers in it, um, just a normal Dawn dish soap. You're gonna, um, I like to use a little scrub brush, like a little nail scrub brush, and actually sit and just scrub my nails for a little bit, wash my hands too, and scrub my nails. Um, helps with getting all the oils out of my nails, because um, that's what you're trying to do in the application or the the prep before you ap apply because um, too much oils left in your nails is gonna maybe not make the la the wraps last as long. So that Dawn dish soap isn't obviously in our application video, but it is a very big tip for me that I love. So next, come down. I like to use um, because my nails are a little bit more oilier than. Everybody's, you don't have to use this. I use um, acetone. You can use, like in our videos, which for most people it works just fine. You can use um, an alcohol wipe or just alcohol in general. If you have alcohol at home, wipe your nails with alcohol. You're gonna take a little swab and really work it into your nail, okay? I'm not gonna do all my nails for you today. I'm just gonna do one for time's sake since I'm talking a lot. If I wasn't talking, this would be done even faster. Um, so yeah, you really want to work it in because you want to get out, if there's any bacteria or anything left, you don't want that sitting in between your nail and your wrap for two weeks. That's not good. So then that's that. I'm going to actually go ahead and start up my mini heater right here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and use a blow dryer. But these uh, are amazing. And if you like jams and you continue using them, highly suggest you invest in one of these. It won't break the bank. It's $19 and quiet and small and you don't have to turn it on and off. I can sit and do my nails while me and my husband are watching a movie at night. So it's kind of awesome. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. I got four of them, four. So I'm lucky I'm even being able to do this video without screaming. Um, okay, so onto the wraps. I have picked out my wraps already. Um, you're gonna need some type of scissor to um, cut the wrap. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, my ring finger for you and show you what that's like. I literally just take my sheet. First of all, you gotta size them. I guess I gotta tell you that. Um, I already know all my sizes, but I'm gonna show you how to size them. I know this fits my finger because what I do is I take it and I wrap it around. I put it up to my cuticle, but don't touch the cuticle and look at both sides, okay? 
You always want your wrap to be a little bit smaller, so you want to see a little bit of nail all the way around. You don't want it to touch both sides or the, or the back of the cuticle because if it does, it's going to lift. Um, so always err on the side of smaller rather than larger, okay? Um, if you end up having wrinkles around your cuticles, that is probably why, just FYI. Okay, so I just kind of took my scissor and helped my, me peel this back. Um, and then you're just going to kind of measure what you think is long enough. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and cut it off the sheet. There are so many ways you can do this, whatever works for you. Here's my next amazing tip, especially for newbies. I tried to get it stuck to this. It doesn't always work that way, so sometimes I have to take it off and put it on um, a little orange stick like this. Or touch it, but don't. If you're going to touch it, you're better at doing this with your hands, you can touch it, but you want to touch it down here where you cut it, because that side's going to get uh, filed off in the end anyways. If you, you do not want to touch it anywhere over here, because if you do, the adhesive is going to touch your oils in your hands, and it's going to ruin um, the adhesive. So, now that I have this on here, I'm going to go ahead and um, not, I'm not going to warm it up first, okay? Most um, videos tell you to warm it up first. Um, especially for newbies, this is a lot easier to put it on cold. So I'm going to show you. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and place it on my nail and kind of roll my stick off to get it stuck on there. Make sure it looks good. To me right now, it looks really good. If it didn't look good because I just barely placed it on there, I can take it back off and put it back on. If this was already heated, it would have already kind of stuck to my nail and if I would have ripped it off to remove it, or move it around it would have um, gotten ruined so right now that's why that's one reason why I do it second is it doesn't get all flimsy it's pretty easy to place so I'm gonna go ahead and now heat it in front of uh, the mini heater for just a few seconds it doesn't take long your finger is gonna get pretty warm and then I'm gonna push it down the middle okay really good I'm gonna like it's like you're giving your finger a massage you're pushing down real hard with good pressure I'm going to add a little bit more heat to one side, um, and I'm going to push down to that side, okay? Real good. I mean, like, almost like you're hurting your finger. Um, these are applied with heat and pressure, okay? So pressure is the second key after the heat. So really good firm pressure again. Now to the other side, like I did that last one. And then I'm just going to kind of rub around for a little bit with my finger. I'm holding it actually underneath, and I'm pushing with my other thumb. This really helps me get good pressure. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and um, you can either use scissors or clippers, whichever ones you have, whichever ones work best. Do not cut your nail. Just cut most of the excess off. Okay, that wasn't my nail, just the excess. You can see there's still, I know it's not focusing amazing, but there's still a little bit of, see it right there? So um, I'm just going to go ahead and heat just a little, and I'm just going to push that down for right now. Now... From here, I'm going to go on and do all my nails like that, okay? Yes, I have not filed yet. I know. Oh my gosh. Most people are like, you're supposed to file now. No. That doesn't work for me. Never has. Um, and a lot of people I know it doesn't work for. So, go ahead and let it cool, is what I like to say. It's cooling. Um, the adhesive is getting a little bit not so tacky. Do all your nails. Clip them. Get them out of the way. Then, when it has cooled, here we go. Turn that heater off. Um, for time purpose, this should be pretty good by now, but like I said, I do wait until I'm done. Um, then you're going to take your file, which comes in our application kit, and you're going to file in a downward motion only, okay? Um, I'm going to show you, and you're going to do very aggressive. You're going to put your thumb, I like to put something underneath my finger to give it good pressure, and just file it off really fast if you can I don't know if you can see but it's already almost all off I have one little side here and that's the tricky part in the corners okay you're gonna take your file and still going in somewhat of a downward down only down but kind of get in there sideways just because if you don't you're gonna get snags and your tips are gonna uh, come up so down okay and guess what I am looking pretty done there's my wrap. I hope you can see it. I know it's so hard. There it is. Okay. It won't focus that good. 
Um, it's on. It's great. Um, one of our best, um, after this, uh, someone gave me a, an amazing tip. One of our lead people. Um, if you take your nail and you rub it on your shirt, and you hear it's like kind of making a little bit of noise, take a little like soft file, glass file, soft, a buffer, whatever, and give it a, just a really quick um, file at the tip. Not a lot, just a little. I don't have any noise now. Perfect, I'm done. Um, you can usually, once you get good at this, you can get this done in about 15, 20 minutes tops. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, let me know in the comments. Okay. Uh, bye.